Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Thank you so much for your previous likes, comments and subscriptions to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, why not click on that button and ring the bell so you can get notifications whenever I'm dropping content on the channel. And now onto the topic of this video and imagine my surprise this morning when I looked at Imperium News and saw New Tech Advanced Soldier Training. That's the topic of this video another new technology into the game let's see what it says in the note so as the war progresses the clashes among provinces keep escalating the researchers in the research institute affiliated with the administratum spent days and nights working on a new ability for lords with a continued effort a leading tech has been developed advanced soldier training the tech will be available in provinces in s2 or later seasons s2 some courage medals, gold, lumber, will be consumed to upgrade the tech. More courage medals. About the tech. The tech will boost the HP, might and resistance of all soldiers. The tech will especially boost the base, might and resistance of enhanced soldiers. And the tech will enhance all the trained soldiers, including the intensive training and their healing speed. The tech will reduce the cost of intensive training and the treatment of enhanced soldiers. With the tech, the type of resources needed in the treatment of enhanced soldiers will be the same as that of common soldiers. Okay, before we look directly at this new tech, which is found here sitting next to the Defensive Legion research, it's only for those of us in the older states, it's only three months since we got Lofty Legion. Lofty Legion requires, you know, 1.5, 1.6 million courage medals, whatever it is which even as a free to play player that's probably going to take you about two years to accumulate those courage medals considering that raider legion also requires courage medals plus the war badges so for free play, free to play small spenders even medium to large spenders i'm it's pretty obvious most people have maybe some of those medium to large spenders have finished Raider Legion. A lot of them haven't finished Lofty Legion and already we're getting another tech that requires Courage Medals. That's even just for the people in the late, the oldest players of the game who have had all of this technology for some time now. Now we consider the impact that the newer players in the game, and I think it's probably gonna be what states 200 down to maybe what 600, I guess those players in those states which i know a lot of my viewers are from those states you guys are getting the game a concentrated version of row where which you're basically experiencing almost at least two years worth of gameplay elements in the space of one year right now i know that some players have been saying to me today that they literally just got lofty legion released into their season this week or last week and now, today, they've got advanced soldier training as well. Plus, you've got to factor in that some states last season jumped from SX2 to SX8 all in one go. And I know that a lot of states now in the 300s, I think it is, are jumping from SX3, 4 into SX8 as well. So not only are people that do have you know money to spend on the game, they're having to spend way more on recruitment because there's so many heroes to recruit now they're getting all of these it's just apps you know all of these different research elements and it is absolutely overkill and I, I i'm really surprised that they've added another element of research into the well am i that surprised nothing surprises me anymore so advanced training that's my kind of just thoughts on actually the fact that we've got another research that requires courage medals you can see from this is my main account i don't purchase courage medals at all i just accumulate them as normal in my account um 56 percent of the way through raider legion 43 percent of the way through lofty legion um i do have i do have 237,000 medals in my account so i could you know complete a reasonable amount of of either of those all this advanced soldier training um, but let's have a look at what soldier training does because again is it actually what you've you've now got three things you need to focus on with your courage medals so this first section says stronger attacking skills for footmen and you can see that a lot of these researchers are going to have the enhanced icon included in the imagery so uh, these first ones are just increasing the base might of strengthened enhanced um, cavalry footmen and archers 
20 levels to increase it by 3%. Hardly seems worth it, does it? Uh, these first kind of levels require 294 courage medals. And of course, that's going to increase. Like all of these different texts, the further you get down the tree, the more resources, the more courage medals you're going to require. So um, next up, then you have heavy strike, ferocious charge and enhanced arrow. This is increasing might for all of your um, troops in these troop types. So it's going to give you an extra 10% might on your cavalry, on your footmen and on your archers. 10% extra might at this stage in the game. Really not huge for those of us in the later stages of the game. I guess for players in S2, S3, that will be more significant, I guess. Um, tough strike. All soldiers might increases again. So this is just buffing every every soldier by 5%. Uh, so that's that whole section is about might. Then we've got efficient training, less less cost in the intensive training. So this is making it ten percent cheaper to actually train enhanced troops, and the mass training is increasing the time by forty percent. So it is actually a good chunk of time that it's reducing intensive intensive troop training by forty percent. I'm I can't remember how much actually that's going to reduce it by in natural real time, the number of hours, for instance. Then the first kind of key element, I think, as well as that troop training is the tactical strike. That's giving you an extra 10% tactical might on all your troop types. Again, when people's tactical might is still, you know, around the 140, 150% mark, mark, then an extra 10% actually does give you a better boost than these smaller increases for the might and resistance. And this brings us on to stronger armor for footmen, cavalry and archers and this is giving increased um, increased resistance um, only by 5% on this run and then the strength and shield enhanced barling enhanced armed guard this is resistance again 10% for all of the troops in those troop types and then guess what mastercraft armor is going to boost your resistance again for all of the troops by 5% so the same structure and then we have the next kind of interest, more interesting elements of this research. Blessed soldiers. Less the healing costs for strengthened soldiers. Um, so that's going to reduce the costs by 20%. Bearing in mind, don't forget, enhanced troops require gold and other resources to heal. And then we've also got super healing. Higher healing speed for strengthened soldiers as well. It's going to reduce that by or increase the healing speed by 40%. Of course, previously in Eden seasons, we all know... Um, you could actually heal enhanced troops much quicker than normal troops and then the devs just removed that what two seasons ago maybe three seasons ago um, and it made it made them the same so now this is going to again enhance the improve the enhanced troops attributes in terms of the healing speed tactical protection it's an extra 10 percent tactical resistance for all your troop types so again that's a decent ad addition and then we've got four rows of 20 fragments elements Cavalry recruitment is going to increase training speed. Again, this is going to be uh, very, really key for those of you that are wanting to build up your troop count and your um, troop levels. Obviously, the things that restrict us in doing that are both resources and speed up. So the quicker you can troop, train your troops, the better. This is going to increase the training speed by 40%. Again, that's just on the original base speed. So it's not going to be actually on the current total amount that you can improve your training by um, but that's still going to be a good buff and that's available for footmen cavalry and archers then we do have sharp blade cavalry sword and enhanced arrow this is increasing uh, the might of your enhanced troop types again and this is increasing it by 10 percent not a huge buff in my opinion and then we have another interesting row of um, elements of research with footman first aid veterinarian and archer first aid increasing cavalry healing speed again and I, I assume this you know is applicable to all forms of cavalry and it's a 40 percent increase again so that's um that is a significant Im improvement on healing speed for your footmen cavalry and archers last few sections of the research nearly there um, additional resistance for your uh, strengthened enhanced troops and again it's just the 10 percent for your footmen cavalry and archers we're getting some martial law, which is extra HP. 20 levels, it's only going to give you 6%. Um, when people are already doing over 250, and this is right towards the end of this research, I'm surprised it's so low at 6%. I thought this was going to be like 10, 15, even 20% potentially. 
um, because obviously uh, there's other elements of research like in uh, Lofty Tech, for instance, that is giving 15%. So I'm really surprised this is only 6% and that's not going to be, HP is always welcome, but it's not and it's not going to be a huge, huge uh, improvement in people, top, certainly not the top players buffs. Um, and when we get to here already, the first segment is requiring 1.4K um, courage medal. So that could be quite high once you get to the latter stages. And talking about high, advanced meds. And this is the final part of the research. It relates to enhanced troops again. Let's click on it, folks. You're not reading this wrong. 30K of courage medals, 17 million gold. And then we get onto the real fun bits. So 58.1 million of food, 116.2 million of lumber, 111.6 of um, marble, and 111.6 million iron. Now, for most players that are, you know, really, again, really developed in the game, I'm sure, um, and you're not in the kind of top crazy uh, alliances that are battling all the time, you probably will have this um, resources available to you, and it should be okay. And then you look at the research now time, 64 days, 10 hours. That's 1,546 hours to complete this final research. And as you can see, um, in terms of gem total, it's saying um, if you, well, obviously I've got low, if you, if you filled it with um, uh, currently against my current set of resources that I have available, it would cost me 680,000 gems. Obviously, if you do have all the resources and you fill it up and you just need to do the speed ups, it will be less than that. Um, but still, that is uh, yeah, over 1,500 hours to complete this one level. Thankfully, it is just the one level for the research. So that is advanced soldier training. How many more bits of research are we going to get? There's still another space on this bottom row. Who knows? How key is this research? Well, it depends how many enhanced troops you have, I guess. If you are have if you've been constantly training enhanced troops and you do have a reasonable amount, maybe one or two million in your accounts, um, you know, even at the lower levels, then this is going to help definitely because you know enhanced troops obviously have that extra buff on them, um, extra additional strength usually. The tactical might and resistance is nice, the 6% HP is okay. The training speed is really key. Improving your training speed, I would definitely say you want to try and get down to that section as quickly as you can. Um, and then, you know, this kind of final section, strength and soldiers will use the same resources in healing as ordinary soldiers. So basically, you won't use need gold to heal your uh, enhanced soldiers. That's what it is. So um, if lots of you have farms, I'm pretty sure gold isn't an issue for you. Do you actually want to spend 1500 hours of research uh, speed ups on on this just so that you don't have to get gold, use gold for healing your enhanced troops? I would just say don't bother with it. I mean, it's uh, you can use 1500 hours worth of speed ups in all the other three techs on these bottom rows and particularly with Lofty Warrior with the additional tech spec points, that's where I'd put my speed ups to be honest with you. Um, you know, if you've got some war badges to use, so that's yeah. I I, I don't think it's going to be a massive improvement. It is really disappointing to see, especially for the younger states that are already getting overwhelmed with all the additional content and heroes and being kind of you know fast tracked through the game almost to get this this for some states that have got two new researches in the same week. I'm sure even for the top top spenders in the game you know, most of you are going to be getting fed up with this level of expenditure. So um, I, I'm kind of disappointed that we're having to do this again. That, and there's another element in the game that, is, that, you know, is again, it's going to make free to play players struggle against the top spenders. And it, for those of you that are in, you know, the younger states, that disparity is going to happen earlier in the game as well. So, um, yeah, I, that, that's my kind of thoughts on this tech research. Um, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. I'm pretty sure I know what the kind of comments I'm going to see on this video are uh, regarding it all. Um, one little thing I want to sh throw out there is, could they be increasing the speeds because they're going to release Enhanced T10? I don't know if they are. They haven't told me. They didn't even tell me that this was coming out. Um, but could that be that they're going to really drop 
enhanced T10 into the game as well in the coming month or so. That that that's my that's the logic behind uh, this tech for me anyway. But yeah, tell me what you think about that point as well, guys. And of course, if you could please share this video and my channel in your online chat, province chat, through line, WhatsApp, Viber, Discord, whatever you use to communicate with your fellow players in the game, that'd be very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.